from the A to Z database list page under G for Gale, I'm going to click on Gale Literature Resource Center. Remember, you may also receive the link to this database in your library guide or libguide as provided by your librarian. In either case, it will take you to the database. If you're not already logged into the databases, it will give you a prompt to log in with your Access Rio username and password. I'm already logged in, so it took me straight into the database. The first thing you'll notice is the Gale product menu. In the Literature Resource Center, you have the option of searching under various different databases that the Literature Resource Center has access to. You can look through Archives Unbound, Gale eBooks, Opposing Viewpoints, Gale Literary Index, Gale Literature Resource Center, eBooks for Artemis, and the Professional Collection. We're going to go into the Gale Literature Resource Center. It will open up a new page or tab for you. And from here you'll notice that there is a search box where you can type in a search. There is also an advanced search feature that lets you put in filters immediately before conducting your search. There is also a person search, a work search, a title list. If you have been doing searches within the database, it will give you the search history that you've done. A link to the current page in the database and also the highlights and notes featured. Now if you scroll down a little bit you'll notice that there is a featured author. So today's featured author is William Carlos Williams with a little bit of information about him, a photo, his famous works. You can click on full biography to get a full biography about this author. And there's also featured work where you'll notice today's is Hamlet by Shakespeare with an image to represent that work. You can read more by clicking read more. And you'll also notice that for each of these you can click view all, view all featured authors or view all featured works. We're going to use person search in this database. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this button for person search. And this is where you're going to type the name of the person that you're looking for. And of course, you're looking in the Gale Literature Resource Center related to literature. So it would be either an author or perhaps a character in a novel. I'm looking for a specific author. So I'm going to type in his name. It is William Faulkner. Please be sure that you're spelling and typing correctly. You can also begin with the last name and then do comma and then the first name. Or you can just do first and last as I've done here. There are some search limiters that you can use here below to be more specific about the person that you're searching for. You can select a gender, nationality, ethnicity, their occupation or literary movement, if you know their genre of specialty, their place of birth or death, and if you happen to have a particular subject or theme that they write about, you can also type that in here. And then you would click search at the bottom. Or up here at the top, you can hit enter or click on the magnifying glass to search for that person. Now you'll get a list of four names here. Depending on your author or person that you're looking for, you may see more or less. I happen to know that I'm not looking for these two individuals because their last names are different from what I'm looking for. Here, Faulkner is used as a middle name and I'm looking for Faulkner as the last name. Here is the year of birth, year of death, nationality, and the number of results. As these two are identical, I can see that these are both the same individual. If you did the same search 
for this individual in the database scale literature, you may notice that the results are a little bit different. The results in Gale literature was, were actually a little bit more than what you're seeing here. Each database has slightly different results. I'm going to go ahead and click on the name William Faulkner for my list of results. Now from here at the top you'll notice that there are different categories of results. Each of these categories has a number listed next to it, and that indicates the number of articles in relation to this type of article. So there are 635 literature criticism articles, 25 biographies, 45 topic and work overviews, 54 reviews and news, 37 primary sources literary works, and 8 multimedia. So depending on what you're looking for, you would want to make your selection up here at the top. I'll go ahead and leave it at literature criticism because it has the most results. And then you can sort by relevance, newest, oldest, or by document title. I'll go ahead and leave it by relevance. Now the first thing you'll notice is in your list of results, there is an article title an author, from which publication this article came from. So this is coming from the Mississippi Quarterly. It's volume 65, issue 3. It indicates that this is a peer-reviewed article or journal from which the article is coming from, the year of publication, how many words, and the source type. This is a critical essay. You'll find that information listed for all of your results here below. Now you can use the filters to narrow down your results if the results are too many. So for example, you can click on subjects. This is a really good tool to narrow down your results. Since all of these articles have to do with William Faulkner, it makes sense that it says 635 next to his name. But you can also select things like American literature or writers novels, novelists, literature. So these are more general or abstract subjects that you can select to narrow down your results. Here you also have race relations, the southern United States, racism, African Americans, characterization, literary themes. You also will notice that there are individuals names such as James Joyce, who's another author, Toni Morrison, who's another author. There is also some titles of novels such as Sanctuary or short stories such as A Rose for Emily. All of these correlate with the author of William Faulkner. You can make these selections and it will narrow down your results here on the left hand side. You can also narrow down by person. So if there's someone specifically listed here that's correlated to William Faulkner that you would like to see the connection between them, you can select the names and click apply. Same thing for name of work. So if you're trying to find out information, about a particular novel or short story, you can make that selection here and click apply. Same thing for author, items by, publication title. So notice this one is Mississippi Quarterly. You can look for all articles published by Mississippi Quarterly or all articles published by Southern Cultures and you'll get only those articles. You can also select document type. So there are 432 critical essays, 164 articles, five biographies, one interview, one obituary, for example. Select whichever document type you'd like and click apply. You can also do a search within. This is by a keyword. So if, for example, you're looking for 
uh, race relations. You can type that in and click submit, or if you're looking for uh, Southern States, Southern United States, although that's already listed in the subjects, maybe you want to just put the South and click submit and it will narrow down your results based on that keyword term that you've typed in. So you'll see that I've gone down to 468. And if you don't want this keyword search, you can click on the X here and it will eliminate that keyword search and take you back to your original results list. Might take a little bit to populate. And that's it. And now you can open up an article and use the tools as listed there.